did you came mm -hmm. to liking spiders? How did you came about so, so, loving I, I, them? I was a young and young curious. boy looking for spiders in the garden, uh -huh. and you know every every neighbor kid looked there for spiders, but I probably got in touch <laughs> a bit too much with the web, and so I got entangled. I don't know why. So, so why me and, and why spiders? But I, wh what I remember is that I looked for all the details of the small uh, threads they, they, they pulled out of the spinnerets and, and uh, wrapped their prey and so on, and I, I was fascinated by the spiders. We know that not all spiders weave webs, but mm. when you ask it, and I said, well, at the beginning, oh, that was 12, 13 years yeah. ago, I said, Peter, can you show me your spider web? collection. I said, what? Yes. I just said, spiders. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you go around the world, there is no spider web collection in the entire world. You know, mm. we always have been obsessed about the animal, but not so much about the world where this animal live, right? To the extension that, you know, human now, they forgot to live on planet Earth, and then maybe... So interesting, right? because we collect artworks. Yeah. Not artists. <laughs> <laughs> Although some people... <laughs> Some people collect <laughs> artists, <laughs> but normally, normalerweise, <laughs> museums collect artworks. Yeah, yeah. But I also think um, museums also collect relationships with artists. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I find that what is very moving, as I was taking the train from Frankfurt to Darmstadt, mm -hmm. was. I was looking forward with so much expectation not only to see Tomas, the artist, but also to have this encounter with this museum. Because this museum in our history has been um, so much part of my upbringing as mm. a student. When I was a student, when I went to art school, when I became a curator, because of Joseph Beuys. So to, I'm so, uh, move that the person who brings me to visit Boys Museum in a way is how I think of the Landes Museum in Darmstadt is the Boys Museum um, is Tomas and so I think that museums have that also like you um, a collection of artists also it's not just works because it's these relationships that really matter that one could associate later so many years much so many years later a museum with an artist to say this Landes museum is the boys museum mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> and Tomas welcomes me into his museum and we're trying to turn this museum in a spider web museum <laughs> <laughs> which he said I'm sure those works are full of, mu one, of one, spiders one thing also is like you know and, and if you ask again you because you know there's a huge collection also of different uh, it's called when you mummify the animals. Uh, mummies. Uh, taxidermy. Yeah, taxidermy. Taxidermy. Yeah. So. <laughs> but what we find out, and was what we will do today, is uh, we said, where are all the alive specimens in this museum? That somehow, <laughs> it, it, right? And then we start to discover, <laughs> well, right, right, uh, behind that uh, air condition, there isn't life. I'm know, sure in the basement. We have not paid the ticket, and mm. somehow still, uh, you know, we keep having certain phobias to it, mm. and the way that we are relating to it, and going back about these relational ways, is, uh, is quite problematic. Phobia is a fantastic word, yeah. because I also think that when we were discussing the phobia of, of dealing with history, or the, mm -hmm. there is a, a, maybe it's called historia phobia, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. the phobia of, of art, I would say there's people who cannot deal with art, mm -hmm. um, and I think phobia of ideas. Uh, this is, these are real things. Mm. And so I'm interested in when you mentioned that there could be a, a cure for arachnophobia. <laughs> what, what could that, how does that look like? Are you, are you arachnophobic? No, not no. at all. <laughs> but I am, be a friend but, of mine but I know, <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to figure out, right, there are people who are art phobic, that mm -hmm. I need to cure them. <laughs> yeah, and so I, uh, so let's start with the arachnophobia and yeah. see if we can build it from there. Yeah. Okay. So presence with uh, uh, with with spiders. For, yeah, for, first of all, um, one one famous guy, Hostern, told us against a phobia, there only helps knowledge. 
Nice. So, so, so if you tell stories about the spiders, I do this with children, of course. Mm -hmm. Children usually don't have phobias. Yeah. It's usually older adults. And, uh, but when you tell stories, you get interested, mm -hmm. and then you see the spider has a personality. Yeah. And there's a, a mom caring for the children, and yeah, she, she, she thrives, and then she looks for food for the children, and so on. That's Built a house. Behind. And then, mm -hmm. then you have empathy for the spider. And we need empathy for the nature. For mm. and the spiders are sometimes past pro toto for the whole nature mm. we, we have around us. You always return us to, and maybe is uh, the, the basis of our relationship with art, which is this um, moment in which we look at things closely. We we're captivated by a question. How was that made? What is it? Where does it come from? Why is it here? All these questions start popping when you're in front of a, an incredible work of art, right? And art has that ability of opening all these questions. And I often think of, of your exhibitions um, as like going in back to my first experiences of art. Like they always bring me back to, that, uh, to, uh, to a memory of being, um, yeah, being stopped and asked to think. Mm -hmm. and, and so in that way, your exhibitions cancel time. Like okay, we've been here ready for quite some minutes, maybe an hour, I don't know, things just time disappears mm. in your in your exhibition. Is this is this something also that you, is it me only that feels this way, or is this something that you also perceive, or you, Peter, when you are in contact with Thomas' work? I'm always happy when I'm with Thomas. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Me too. Really, really. Me too. Yeah. And and Thomas uh, was one time part of a spider exhibition, a special mm -hmm. exhibition, and he had a separate room, of course, it was, it was all black things, like here, and mm -hmm. amazing hybrid webs, and then there was a swinging duet, you call it, right? The, the nephila and the, the threads, oh, yeah. making I the know sound that and so on, uh -huh. and there was a school class approaching, and school classes are always very loud. Yeah. It's our enemy <laughs> in a museum, because you cannot understand anything. <laughs> and then they're approaching the room, and they were entering the room, and then they were, <laughs> silence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does that to me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is what, what children do. Yeah. Yeah. And, and therefore children cannot lie. So this is uh, how, how, how Thomas' artwork is, is perceived, I guess. And I will always admire uh, uh, Thomas, of course, of his energy <laughs> and so on. But he's, he's, he's putting all the nature in, in a certain perspective, in a different perspective, and not convince, uh, not, not persuade, but convince or, or make people thinking about nature differently. <laughs>